ever wondered what the difference between star and delta connections is? The world of electrical engineering is filled with such intriguing concepts. Today, we're going to delve into the topic of star and delta connections. These are two distinctive methods of connecting electrical components or systems. They are more than just technical jargon. Understanding these connections can be pivotal in various applications, from power distribution to motor controls. So, without further ado, dive into the fascinating world of star and delta connections. First things first, it's important to get a basic understanding of what star and delta connections are. Let's start with the star connection, often symbolized by the letter Y. This is a three-phase connection where one end of each component is connected to a common central point. Picture a star with its points reaching out from the center. That's your visual cue for a star connection. Now let's shift our focus to delta connections. Delta connections, symbolized by the Greek letter delta, are also three-phase connections. But rather than converging at a central point, like in a star connection, in a delta connection, the start of each phase is connected to the end of the next phase. This creates a closed loop, much like the shape of a triangle or delta. Now that we've grasped the basics, it's time to compare these two connections. So, how do star and delta connections compare to each other? Well, when it comes to voltage and current, these two configurations tell a tale of contrasts. In a star, or Y connection. The phase voltage is the line voltage divided by the square root of 3. On the other hand, the phase current is equal to the line current. This means that star connections have lower voltage but higher current. Now, let's take a look at delta connections. Here, the situation flips. The phase voltage equals the line voltage, which means delta connections carry a higher voltage. However, the phase current is the line current divided by the square root of 3 resulting in a lower current in comparison to star connections. But voltage and current aren't the only parameters that set these two apart. Safety and reliability also come into play. Star connections are generally safer due to their neutral point, which provides a path for any fault current, protecting the system from damage. This neutral point can also stabilize the voltage, contributing to the overall reliability of the system. Delta connections, on the other hand, don't have a neutral point. This can make them less safe in the event of a fault. However, delta connections are more reliable when it comes to load sharing. If one phase fails, the remaining two can continue to deliver power, ensuring uninterrupted operation. This makes delta connections particularly useful in applications where continuity of service is critical. So, star and delta, two sides of the same coin, each with its own strengths and drawbacks. Star connections, with their lower voltage and higher current, are safer and offer voltage stability. On the other hand, delta connections, with their higher voltage and lower current, provide robust load-sharing capabilities. As we can see, each connection type has its own pros and cons, depending on the specific application. Alright, we've covered quite a bit of ground. Let's take a moment to recap. We've delved into the fascinating world of star and delta connections, illuminating their unique characteristics and distinctions. In the star connection, we have three phases connected together at a common point, forming a configuration that resembles a star. This connection type shines in applications requiring a neutral wire for three-phase four-wire systems. It's the go-to for low-voltage distributions, bringing safety and stability to the table. On the other side of the coin, we have the delta connection. Here, the end of each coil connects to the starting point of the next, creating a closed loop or delta. This configuration thrives in high power and high voltage systems, boasting robustness with a higher power output. But it's not just about knowing these differences, it's about understanding when to use each type. The choice between star and delta is not arbitrary. It's dependent on the specific requirements of your electrical system. So whether you're lighting up a small village or powering a massive industrial plant, it's essential to choose the right connection type for the right application. And there we have it, a clear understanding of the differences between star and delta connections. Remember, in the world of electrical engineering, the devil is often in the details.